Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on Ark Survival Evolved. I've got exciting news for you today. As you can see on my shoulder, I've got a Ferox here on Crystal Isle. And yeah, so Primal Fear has released its Genesis update, and I'll link the mod in the description. But in this video, I'm going to basically show you the creatures that you can get with this on any map that you have Primal Fear the Genesis bot or Genesis expansion on. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. If you do, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is the Alpha Bloodstalker. And have this nice little coloration on it. I haven't leveled these up, put any points into them, so their damage as you see is as is. You can compare that to the rest of them. So let's see if I can get this Parasaur. I don't remember the button to suck these in. Honestly, it's been a while since I've played with any Genesis creatures. Let go of the ground, thank you. Okay, there we go. So we're bringing them in. And the damage on that one isn't really that fantastic. But his normal attack seems to be pretty good. And love getting around on these guys though. Alright, so now let's take a look at the apex and see the difference. Okay, so just kidding, there is no apex. But there is a fabled version, which we're on right now, and it's got the fabled coloration. The damage on this doesn't seem to change very much. However, let's take a look at his melee damage for his normal attack. And you see the Feywold hits quite a bit harder. Just cleaving through these guys. So the whole pulling them to you and sucking them dry doesn't really seem to get updated. Hopefully they'll do that in a new patch but for now still very very awesome getting around is fun as should be expected on that all right and now we'll take a look at the pharaohs okay so here we have the alpha pharaoh nice coloration and obviously the little version looks exactly like the one on my shoulder except for the different alpha coloration uh notice the yellow eyes as opposed to the red eyes but all right let's jump around with this guy and see what we can get into super fast let's see i heard something oh we'll just keep looking around Okay, there's stuff over here. So, base damage on these attacks. Oh, I need to throw a rock at you. Come here, stop running. Oh, I can throw a rock. Okay, 500 damage. Oh no, that was a lot more damage. Okay. So the rock throwing is pretty viable, especially for an alpha. If you can hit with it, like that. So these are going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. And all of the Primal Fear creatures are pretty much knockout tame, except for a few exceptions, which you can see in my other videos. But yes, this is going to make it so much fun. Alright, we'll move on to the Apex. Alright, so we're gonna feed him some element. 
Come on, big boy. Oh, look how huge he is. Ginormous with those big red eyes. Let's see what destruction we can get into. I know there was... Oh... Dodo killed my other pharaoh. Let's see his baby form. Where is he? We must avenge him. Regular dodo. As we see, that does a thousand points. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I'm not too sure about that one. Just oh, I did a thousand points with that. Let's find something bigger. Yeah, see. Okay, well, it does some splash damage, which I guess makes it worth it. It's a little bit different than normal. Oh, there we go. A direct hit, 10,000. That seems like good damage to me. The transformation doesn't seem to be lasting much longer than normal. But, yeah. I really do think these are going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Alright, so now we will move on to the Magmasaurs. Okay, so the Magmasaurs, we have three variations. We have the Alpha, we have the Fabled, and we have the Apex. So we'll take a look at the Alpha first which will be the weaker of the three. Go over here, test out his damage. So, 1300, not bad. All right, so we'll test out his searing breath here. I'm not really impressed with that damage right there, to be honest. Let's, let's see if we can get something else. Because it could be that that wasn't a direct hit, just like with the, the Pharaohs. Um, okay, let's try it on this thorny dragon over here. Okay, so we're going to charge it all the way. Yeah, that was a bit better. And it seems to have splash, so that's good. Okay, alright. Now let's check out the damage on the Apex. Okay, so we now have the Apex, and I think I found that Dodo that killed my Pharaoh. So his base attack is doing 2,000. Let's try a Searing Spit. Um, yeah, that missed. Tiki's around there. 100%. Oh, nope, didn't get it. Wow, I'm bad at this. There we go. So, 7,000. That's, that's, I mean, decent. Okay. And it doesn't seem to have any other... Let's, let's see. They will smell same. Okay, so I guess that's about it for him. So we will check on the fabled Magnosaur. Alright, so the Fabled Magmasaur is quite a bit quicker. The damage wise seems to be doing okay. Let me just do that once again. So, yeah, about double what the Apex was doing. Alright, so we've collected some metal and we've turned on his smelting so that we can try his 
searing spit. Oh wow, what a metal collector. Jeez, those were normal nodes. Granted, my stats are a bit up, but that's definitely the highest I've seen thus far. Alright, so let's try the searing spit now. Hundred percent. Uh that's still I mean dude survived it, no problem. There we go, direct hit. Okay. So that's yeah, that's a bit better. They're definitely viable. I think the fabled Nightwing Sword is going to be excellent for getting metal. And of course smelting it on the way. But last but not least, we have the giant turtle. This is the fabled turtle. I think he's a little bit faster than the vanilla, but obviously on land he's still still a bit slow. And no. Let's try to get in some water here. I don't know whether any of this is deep enough for him. Okay, he seems to do pretty good damage. And he's not really running out of stamina, though I'm sprinting. But I really want to get him into some deeper water. Out of these crystals. Come on. Okay. So he's not much faster swimming this water either. Hmm. Overall, I think if you like the turtles, this will be a nice one to have. I mean, it is a portable underwater base, which is pretty cool and unique, depending on the map you're playing. I don't think I'll use him much on Echo Island, but it's still worth it. A tame. Okay. Now he's actually swimming. Yeah, he's not really, really much faster. And of course, we've still got the same problem of sharks attacking him. The big difference, I think, is for the most part, he's just gonna wreck him. I mean, yeah. Alright. Overall, I really think that this update is going to add a lot of quality to Ark Primal Fear. I know I'm going to enjoy it as I install it on my playthrough. Um, some things I did want to mention was that for the saddle, for the Mega Shalon, the turtle, you have to be level 45, and for the Magnosaurs, you have to be level 95. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.